Same night news reporter Skyler Soto is live out in northeast El Paso on how a fun day at the pool can quickly turn into a very dangerous situation. Skyler, what more can you tell us? Well, Andy, we are going into swimming season, which means a lot more outings to the pools and water parks. Now, it is important that we bring awareness to water safety and protection because sadly, accidents happen when kids are around water. There's not a cry for help. There's not going to be splashing. They're quiet. Drowning is the leading unintentional cause of death for children under the age of four. We teach them to love it and appreciate it. And instead of teaching them the uh, respect from the get go, because water can be dangerous, it can be deadly. And this year, there's been 17 drownings in the state of Texas, with one here in El Paso. But we can prevent all that if we stay vigilant in and around the water with the following safety tips. Like a water watcher. An adult that is assigned with a group of children to always have their eyes on them um, and be free of distractions, especially under the age of four, to always have them in, within arm's reach. Anytime they're in the bath, in the pool, in a kiddie pool, anytime there's a body of water, even a puddle, always within arm's reach. And making sure you have a life vest approved by the U.S. Coast Guard, usually found attached to the tag. And along with learning CPR, Laura Castle, the founder of the Drowning Prevention Coalition of El Paso, lost her four-year-old son in a drowning accident with five lifeguards around. She says she thought she knew everything about drowning, but when tragedy hit, she thought twice about it. So one thing that I will say is that, you know, lifeguards are out there and they're trained to to save a life if something were to happen. They are not babysitters and we should never assume that they're going to be babysitting our kids. Um, it's our responsibility to make sure that when we have our children around water, especially if they're not strong swimmers, that we are within arm's reach of them. Now, both these, both these ladies tell me it is very important that we bring awareness to it because swimming season is just getting started. Now, these tragedies do happen, but they are preventable. I'm live in Northeast El Paso. I'm Skyler Soto, KTSM 9 News. Just a tragic story there in Northeast El Paso. Our thanks to Skyler for that.